Hi, in this video we will talk about five architecture patterns for any software applications at a high level. Any system that you design, either for an interview or in your job, your architecture will follow one of these patterns. And if you are giving an interview for any tier one companies, knowing about different architecture patterns is almost a prerequisite to designing any system that you are asked. So let's get started. The first architecture is a monolithic architecture. Monolithic architectures are traditional model of software applications. Those are built as a single large unit containing several tightly coupled functions doing everything like website layer, core business logic, data access layer and independent from any other applications. So that is the monolithic architecture. From the monolithic architecture, the next architecture that came was the service oriented architecture. Service oriented architecture actually evolved from monolithic architectures Basically, it designs the application based on different business functionality and common reusable services which are interoperable via service interfaces. That's a service oriented architecture. There are still service oriented architectures that are used, but from service oriented architecture, the next evolution was microservices architecture. Microservices architecture evolved from a service oriented architecture like I mentioned. Uh, but it granularized applications to small autonomous services, mostly responsible for one single task. And all these microservices interact with each other to unify the complete business application. We are going to discuss each architecture in detail in subsequent videos and talk about pros and cons of each scenarios and use cases where those are used. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel Software Dude so that you don't miss out on those videos. Okay, continuing with our architecture patterns. Now coming to the architecture patterns which are modern architectures primarily provided by cloud platforms. The first one of those is the containerized application that is the architecture. The containerized architectures which packages the software services and its dependencies into a single isolated unit. Uh, that unit is called a container. Now that is done basically to ease portability and it offers high scalability and availability options. And the latest architecture pattern that is famous is the serverless architecture. Serverless architectures are the most recent patterns which provides a way to build and run applications and services without the need to manage infrastructure. Containerized applications still require you to manage infrastructure and most of these services are in a traditional software development model where you had to maintain hardware. Uh, serverless architectures are made famous by cloud platforms by Amazon Web Services where they have mainly abstracted the complete hardware and server management and operations. Uh, in fact, the provisioning, deprovisioning, scaling, those are all abstract, abstracted from developers and they can purely focus on core product and business logic. These are the five architecture patterns when building any software application. Let us know in the comment section if this was useful and any other specific topics if you want to learn about. Like I mentioned, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Software Dude. Thank you for watching.